And history matters. Hey! And speaking of content, we have a, a man who is a prolific generator of <laughs> of content. Funny. Where? Content. I know. Where? He's right over there. Uh, yeah, he's over he's there. Right he's over there. there. We're waiting for him to come on. Yes. And yeah. we also have Mark here, too. So <laughs> wow. Thanks, for Mark, us. thanks, John. <laughs> thanks, Allie. <laughs> yeah, it's so nice to be here. I'm Geek so beat. excited I love it. to have you. <laughs> I know, right? uh, it was, We met, like, two years ago. We did. Here at Blog World. It was in Vegas in Blog World. On a Vegas. different stage. We met on in Vegas. Stage. That doesn't usually sound good. But, but that, yeah. that right. was the stay in Vegas, right? It wasn't like that. It was. Nothing stays in Vegas. Just to protect you and your girlfriend. <laughs> and my wife. My girlfriend oh, is sorry, not wife. here. My <laughs> girlfriend is actually Wait. His girlfriend is not here right now. She'll be We've here later. We've been married seven years. Oh. June 4th was our I'm anniversary. sorry. My apologies. The anniversary just, present. You can, that's she that's filed it interview. away incorrectly. It's all good, Kelly. It's all good. <laughs> my filing cabinet got mixed up. <laughs> that that's right. Mine is permanently mixed up. Sure. <laughs> so, obviously, you're a comedian. Yes. Obviously. Uh, yeah. And you, you were kind of known for doing crazy stuff. Sure. Like recently, you just got finished with the Netflix challenge. I did. That Tell was us about crazy. it. Crazy. Well, um, I wanted to take advantage of my Netflix subscription more than anybody in history. So I think the average <laughs> Netflix user watches 30 a month. But I wanted to get the price down of my $7.99 per movie, the lowest possible. So you just do streaming. Because $7.99 yes. after, that's outrageous. I mean, $7.99. I mean, you got to justify that. I mean, you were so, paying, what, like $130 per month for cable, Yeah, right? but yeah, that's $7.99. Not. So I ended up over one month watching 252 movies, and I got the price down to $0.3.2 cent per movie, and that was 404.25 hours. Did you, wife, did get you up here. Cheat? I want to know what your problem is. <laughs> did, did, did you cheat or did you actually watch no, it? No, I did it. In fact, um, several... I would have to have toothpicks prying my eyes open. Like Several of the movies I actually had to watch um, four times because I, I it was like white noise. I didn't remember anything. I thought for it to count, I would have to actually have some retention. Um, it was a really, really... Uh, challenging month. I oh, it's so hard watching <laughs> movies. Callie, you try it. It was 155 hours. <laughs> the first week, I did not leave my apartment. I was, uh, it was very, very mentally hard. I'm still doing damage control on my I'm marriage. Sure. I know. That's why I wanted I to know. talk to her because she, I can't believe she put up with that. Yeah. What I want to know is how much money did it cost you in snacks? Because seriously, <laughs> like, yeah. you know, Probably, I gained six pounds, so there's your answer. Only six? I would Only have gained six. like six a day. Yeah. Wow. You should see what no, I eat when I No, because your metabolism is yeah. amazing. Yeah, but you yeah. can't even go anywhere. You have to stay that you're That's not walking true. around. Yeah. You're just laying on the couch. How did you physically perform this act? I just kind of... Uh, like, were you on a sofa? Were oh, you laying in a bed? I was, were you... 95% of the time I was on my, my watching it on TV in my, in my living room, but then I also would take a, a, a walk maybe... Maybe for like uh, an, a minute or two around the neighborhood, watching on my iPhone, and Christine would make sure I didn't go into traffic. And I was on my iPad, and then I went to Central Park one day. Hopefully, and I, you weren't walking the dogs. Because no, <laughs> no, no, that would not be good. That would be bad. Um, <laughs> but my favorite was I went to Central Park, and I had the actor um, Andrew McCarthy do live commentary on Saint Elmo's fire for me. Nice. Yeah, yeah. So we did that, and then he pulled me around in a red wagon as I watched other movies. Wow. So that, that was a nice. good time. So who knew? Why is the question? Why do you put yourself through all of these challenges that you do? I think obsession. You know, um, I was really into the Apple Store for a long long time watching the culture that have never really been documented that they would let customers do almost anything. It was a solid year. I would go up to people and I'd say, hypothetically, could you bring a goat into the Apple store? And they would think for a moment. They said, I, see, I don't see why not. <laughs> and I, and I, would, I would think somebody has to make a video. So I actually did. Um, I went with Christine and we brought a goat into the Apple store and it was all good. I was there for 15 minutes. I, they just let you bring yes. the goat like, in. This yeah. is my pet goat? Yes. Like if I did that in the gap, I'd be in cuffs. Yeah. Yeah. So um, we had. Well, a, in all yeah. fairness, in the yeah. gap, the goat might eat something. It's yeah, not it could so eat a much sweater. Eat in the, they could probably could nibble it, on a backpack in the it Apple Store. I, it, what about an iPad? It could have maybe taken out a little chunk, no? I guess it could, it but I don't know if it would naturally. <laughs> I don't know if it would sniff the iPad and be like, that smells yeah, tasty. Smells probably not. But a shirt, that smells tasty. Yeah. Probably right. To John. a goat, I guess. I don't know. Probably. Because you know so much about goats. Not really, you know, I haven't studied up that much right, on the goat. Right. <laughs> Lore. I don't know. So you post all the videos. I want to do something crazy with you sometime. I'm all for it. How about now? 
I, I'm, what can we do is the problem. Oh, I don't even know what we I don't know. Know. Like, We'll we think about to... something. We'll do something. Yeah, I like okay. the collaboration. Yes. Yeah, because I can do crazy stuff too. You know? I have no doubt I've heard about you. <laughs> <Yeah>. Kelly <laughs> has told me a lot of stories. <laughs> I want to know yes. why you're doing the last, the, the ending keynote this year without me. I wanted you. I, I, I do everything. All my well, keynotes here with Kelly. That's why. Lewis, I just thought your rider was like five pages. It was like. What was it like? Um, what can I say? I'm, uh, I'm, I'm just very <laughs> specific about I what I have 37 brown <laughs> M&Ms. Yeah. I don't know why. Where, where did know. that number 37 come from anyway? I don't even know. It's a very complicated, long, drawn-out process. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I would, no, we had so much fun in Vegas. It was you, <laughs> no, no. me, yes. and Gillette. Yeah, um, Adam who's Carolla. scary. Um, Adam he Carolla, is scary, Jeff Hazlett, he? Rob Barnett. Can Penage we talk about nice him for a minute? Me. Oh, I'm sure. I mean, I know he watches Geek Beat, but um, we <laughs> love you. Yeah, yeah. We love you, Penn, but let's let's talk for Penn. He's scary. I'm sorry. He's a scary dude. First of all, he's a big, intimidating man. Yes. He is. Second of all, he is loud. Yes. <laughs> and third of all, he is opinionated. I think he, he's... He, he couldn't have been nicer to me personally, but I just see him angry a lot, and I yeah. just wouldn't want to be... I wouldn't want the Penn Gillette wrath, uh, so I don't know. Right. He's Pen fine to watch perform. He's actually got his own show on Revision 3, too. He does, too. he does. So yeah. he's our partner. We love you, Penn. <laughs> we do, Penn. Any, any press is good press, Penn. Yes. Oh, he you knows know that. that. He knows that well. He does know that. Uh, but it was fun. Rob Barnett was there, Carol. Yeah. We had a good time. We did. We did. I look yeah. forward to doing more stuff with you. I, I would absolutely love that. Yeah, I'm having a good time still doing the, sh the videos on my damn channel. Yes. And, uh, That's what I was trying to get to. I know. I can tell. He totally interrupted. John messed up the like, plug. I'm, I'm just joking. I'm a professional. Okay. okay. I do that. I mess things up. <laughs> That's what I'm professional at. Sure. Professional. We all have our things. Sure. That's what they need me for. You, and you do a good job at Thank it. Thank you very much. My so, damn channel. That's right. I can't say that. I love. I can't repeat the name of your URL. Is God. that right? It's is in it, my just, writer. I can't it. say. Yeah. I'm I just love joking. it. Yeah. <laughs> I, love to, I love to be able to use profanity anytime I can. I like to weave a tapestry right. of profanity. Unfortunately, I can only get one name, one word in there, but I still love but saying my it. damn channel. And you did that well. <laughs> Thank you. So what other kinds yeah. of uh, exciting things are you embarking on? What's next? I have all these ideas, but they're so hard to pull off and sometimes so expensive and sometimes... Um, Do you have sponsors to help you get sometimes, through stuff this? Sure. Okay. I've done, I've worked with Ford Motor Company. I've yeah. worked with Kodak. I've worked with Ikea. I've AirTran when I lived on an airplane for a month to get over my fear of flying instead of Guinness How'd World Records. How'd that Record. go? Um, it was really hard not showering for a month. I had to clean myself with baby wipes. And then Christine had to fly with me on the weekends to see me. Um, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, I did, I did. Wait a minute. Okay. Oh, yeah. stop. You know what, what I have to ask. Uh, it was a very lonely month. That's what you're getting at. And it was a very lonely I month. I mean, if you're going to spend stop. a month in an airplane, it was you got to you gotta join the Mile High Club while you're in it. Um, uh, I don't think they I am not part of that, that club. It was a lonely month. Oh, um, man. But um, I, it was 135. You need a private plane for that, probably. It was 135 flights in a month. And it was uh, it was the most psychologically the hardest thing I ever had to do. Really? So, but it's, it's all good. Um, but Celebrity Sleepovers, which just came out a couple yes. months ago. I want to do more of that. Like... That was like the best project ever because I tweeted, Facebooked, and sent letters to celebrities, and I said, can I sleep over? And they said yes. That's so awesome. I think we yes. know a couple who we could get you in with, too, if you want to keep that's, doing it. Oh, my goodness. True. I'd be excited. I would love that. So yeah. who did you do? Um, who was I with? I did celebrity sleepovers at Full House star Dave Coulier. I did something with Kristen Schaal from Flight of the Concords, Kate Walsh, Private Practice. Ed Bagley Jr., Justin oh, Bateman. Oh, Ed's awesome. We've had him on. Uh, oh, he's wonderful. Yeah. Justin, did you say Justin Bateman? Justin Bateman. Oh, Justin. Justin. Okay. Paul Feig from Bridesmaids, who directed Bridesmaids. Um, Marilyn Ricecop from 24. Um, a lot. Um, a lot. That's Steven crazy. Steven Weber. Um, th and, it was, and so I Justine, have, like, I Justine as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Did you have, like, ice cream parties or what? We had some pillow fights. Bagley and I had a pillow fight. I saw one person, unfortunately, in their underwear. It was a big, it was a misunderstanding. But if you sleep over at somebody's house, that, that could happen. Yeah. Um, well, oh, sure. I can see how that would happen. It does happen. Dave Coulier had me sleep in his SUV in his driveway because they were doing renovation on his house. So no, I think that was an excuse. <laughs> probably. <laughs> he's like, you can sleep like, over, but you're going to get the SUV. the SUV. Thank you. You're probably right. <laughs> right. But it was a, it was a fun uh, fun project. So, yeah. Well, That's I awful. love watching your videos. Oh, thank you. I, I love what you do. I'd, I rather, think... I'd rather make videos with you than with her, to be honest. I, I, wouldn't, I would not um, blame you, we'll actually. We'll talk after the show, John. <laughs> Callie. I'm just kidding, Callie. Callie. <laughs> I, I hope that you stay married. 
Um, <laughs> so, is everything okay? You can talk to Christine after this. Let me know. Please ping me. Text me. Let me know what's we, going on. Right, next something. time, do something that, you know, it includes her maybe a little bit. Right. We did one where I lived as, in... I'm just speaking as a woman. Well, I did one where I lived in my bathroom for five days to go on an internet detox where I couldn't check internet. I was trapped in my bathroom with no technology and we only have one bathroom. So she puts up with a lot in our apartment. So. She does. She yeah. does. Wow. <laughs> you couldn't even leave. You could not step out of the bathroom for no, five days. No, it was a small pink bathroom. Yes, and I it really helped that. with my internet intimate. addiction. That's but very yeah. intimate. intimate. So I, I owe her for life. With, yeah. Well, I, and we her. owe her because we get great content thank out you. of it. So That's true. thank you. Thank you very yes, much. Yes, we love yeah. you. My damn channel there, I said my it. Damn my cha- damn my channel. damn channel. <laughs> Take that, Internet. That's right. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's, it's very good seeing you again. See you. Thanks for joining yeah, us. Look let's for make some collaborative our plans. videos. I like that. We get off at 4 o'clock, so I'm ready to go burn something down. We're going to be, come we're up gonna with be breaking the law. Something. Breaking Please. the law, breaking the law. Totally. We're rebels. <laughs> All right. Thank like, you, sir. It's nice to see you. All right. Good to see you, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Take care, guys.